Hi everybody, and welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. We are back in the Troll Shaws, actually, today. Not in Evendim. Look, I, I kept on working on that quest line to uh, reforge Aragorn's sword, and I ran into this quest. The Tomb of Elendil, a level 40 fellowship quest, and I cannot do this right now unless I pick up a group or something. And I, I haven't been able to do that yet, so I'm going to leave this for the time being. Also, because it's four levels above me. Um, and we'll come back to it eventually, hopefully. Uh, but for now, we're back on the epic quest line. Book 4, Chapter 1. Where is the horse and the rider? We're looking for a missing Nazgul. A missing black rider. And we're here in Thorinhead, actually. Uh, and over there somewhere, hiding behind this tree and these pillars, is Elidan. Uh, one of Elrond's sons. Uh, so we're going to talk to him and see if we can find this missing uh, rider because apparently Elrond wants him to be found or at least some account of him to be found um, so that we're not worrying about where he is or if he's following um, the soon-to-be fellowship because uh, that would be bad, right? That would be really bad. Uh, we don't want that to happen. Let's pick up the Stable Master location as well. Awesome. Great. Um... So we've got all these swift travel. Oh, we can actually swift travel to Barakin's camp. That's Barakin. Yep, I just said that. Eladan, hey buddy. What do you need? How's it going? You look just like your dad. My father has sent you to aid us. It is good that you have come, for we have made an unsettling discovery. It seems like the missing rider is still somewhere within the wilderness of the Trollshaws. Shortly after Frodo Baggins and his company came to Rivendell, my father sent us to search for signs of the Nazgul, the nine riders of the enemy. We found the bodies of eight horses downstream, but the last of the last, there was no sign. We searched further, but still found nothing. We traveled far afield, right journey far south of the road in the south Trollshaws, Alcott, and seek out the missing rider. The ruins within those narrow channels have a fell reputation, minus Agor. That place was called of old, and the Nazgul may have sought it out for that reason. So he's going to give us his pants, apparently. If, uh... Actually, nice looking pants. Oh, man. Oh, man, those look good, don't they? Nice. Um, so this is like, we get inspiration, or we could do this with a full fellowship. I don't have a full fellowship with me. Um, so we're going to use some inspiration. Now, we actually have to travel quite a distance. So we're going to make this uh, little journey, another little road trip. I hope you guys enjoy the road trips. I sure enjoy the road trips, especially here in the Trollshaws. It's a beautiful place. I would hang out here all the time if I could and just like be like some like wild hobbit, some wild feral hobbit living in the, the trees and the forests and the hills and the valleys of the Trollshaws. I think that would be quite nice, actually. Um... Oh man, and I could have like little pets, like I could have this bear as a pet and this bird as a pet as well, and maybe this deer, and maybe if I like come up across a troll or something like that, and I could befriend the troll, and he could be my buddy, and he could just like carry me around wherever I wanted, and we'd be like the best of friends, and we'd like eat taters together and stuff. Oh man, that would be really nice. That would be really nice. Can somebody write like some fan fiction for me? <laughs> for Al, uh, where he comes across a troll in the troll shaws and befriends him and they become like best buds. Can somebody please do that for me? Because that would be great. I would really love that. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. That's okay. Uh, I can just pretend. I can just pretend. It's good to be back on Smasher. I've been riding all these other horses around. I feel kind of bad. I feel like I've been cheating on Smasher. Um, but no, we're back together once again. Alan Smasher. And, uh, ooh. A more stalker scavenger. Let's sneak by him. I don't want to get in a tussle with him right now. All right. I believe this is the way we are meant to go. To find the Black Rider. Is he hiding back here somewhere? Is this him? Are you the Black Rider? No, I guess not. Okay. Let's keep going. Deeper and deeper. Strength swells within your chest. Here's a place where you can draw upon inspiration. Uh, okay, I have a Shimmering Elf Stone. Let's use the Elf Stone. Have we got inspiration? Yes? 
Oh, yeah, look at that. There we go. Oh, no, it's gone. There we go. It's back again. Minus Agor. And we suddenly have 8,600 morale. Oh, my gosh. There's some trolls. Here. The troll kind. Will you be my friend? Can we be best buds? Here, let's talk. Let's have a... Oh, no. No, no, no. He doesn't want to be my friend. Oh. Oh. This is terrifying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to do this to you. But I am extremely powerful. Because of the shiny stone. I'm gonna have to put you down, buddy. I'm gonna have to put you down. Oh, he stopped me. There we go. Oh, man. I'm really sorry about that. I just wanted to be your friend. Oh, man. So sad. It's so sad. Alright, we've come to this big, like, opening. Oh! And there's a troll coming out. Another troll. Maybe he can be our friend? Yeah? No, I don't think he wants to be our friend. Okay, he's just, like, patrolling, though. And there's also a corker archer. Um, oh. Let's reveal his weaknesses and go ahead and take him out. Oh, man. That was fast. Wow. We need to kill ten of them? Let's go ahead and do it. I mean, this is a level 35 quest, but uh, they're not too tough these these days since I'm, like, inspired. Oh, man. Awesome. Okay. Oh, look. There's a horse. There's a black horse. Let's take out this troll. Um... Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that thing? Oh, back up, back up. Back up. Okay, let's take the troll out. Did you guys see that? It's those red, it's those red uh, ring wraiths. The red, the red riders. It's the red riders. Oh my gosh, they're back. What are they doing here? They're searching for something. Let's go ahead and take out these these guys. Look, I don't think any of them are gonna come over here. So let's stomp on all these trolls. Take them out, since they don't want to be our friends. Um, and I'm very disappointed about that. I'm, I, I really am. I thought we could, thought we could be something. Um, but no. No, look, now I have to stun you and stab you a whole bunch. And knock you down. You're dead. You're dead to me. And to everyone else too. Okay, let's keep taking out these trolls too. This is kind of nice. Um, I don't have a quest for the trolls, but it's nice to let out some aggression once in a while, right? He's trying to stomp on my head, but um, I'm too quick for him. Okay. I have found this black horse corpse, and flies are buzzing around it. This black horse was the steed of one of the nine, but it is now dead. I've collected the bridle, I need to bring it back to Eladen. All right, we are back once more in Thorinhad. Uh, we've brought the bridle of the Black Rider's horse all the way back here to Eladen, and we're gonna give it to him to show him that the horse is dead. Uh, he doesn't have to worry about the horse anymore. Maybe the Black Rider still, but uh, you definitely don't have to worry about the horse, Eladen. How can I be of service? Your tale begins to fill this puzzle for me, Alcott. I think I now see what has happened. Um, caught between the remainder of Frodo's company and the raging of the Bruin, and the nine were forced into the torrent, but one escaped in the chaos. Near death, his steed bore him through hidden channels into some place where, nearly formless, he gathered his strength. His horse he abandoned, and he vanished into the wild. Without his cloak, he would be all but invisible to us, a malice on the wind. If he takes it onto himself again, it is only to give shape to his strength. It means he has survived the ordeal unharmed and will surely strike at us again. We are running out of time, Alcott. Oh no, um, look, these leggings aren't that great actually. I'm gonna take this big giant two-handed hammer, it's huge, uh, to sell it off. Mind my words. Okay, now, apparently, we know more than we did, Alcott, but we do not yet know what we must. For the safety of all those who live or journey within this region, the whereabouts of the missing Nazgul. Okay, we need to talk to Lord Glorfindel, for he is accounted very wise and may have some stratagem. Nobody says stratagem. Come on, that's crazy. We have not yet tested. He keeps close counsel with my father and with Mithrandir, Gandalf, and often contemplates 
near the falling water by my father's house. He may be able to help us find this missing Nazgul. All right. We do have to ride back to Rivendell. Can we do like a swift travel? Oh, fantastic. We got a swift travel ride to Rivendell so we don't have to we don't have to do a big cut. We can just ride straight there and go talk to Glorfindel who is uh hanging out by the waterfall or something. Oh, right. Now he said he was near the falling water and there is like a so waterfall back here? I think this is where Glorfindel is. It's right across this cute little bridge. Oop. Or we could just completely avoid the bridge and run through the water. <laughs> oh man. Look, there he is, up on the hilltop. Listening to the sound of the falling water. Lord Glorfindel. Oh man. What a regal looking chap, huh? Oh look. There's two quests here. Okay, let's pick up book four, chapter three. You are welcome to Amladris, Alcott. These are times of trouble, but for now at least, the curtain of shadow is held back and we meet in peace. Okay, I bring grie grievous tidings. I fear that not all of the Nazgul were claimed by the Bruinin. Uh, he may have already left a mark on the wilderness. I give you my barrel and ask you to hold it aloft at the fort of Bruinin. Return to me once you have done so and we will speak further. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? We have to ride all the way back to the fort of Bruinin? What is faster? It, it might actually be faster to swift travel here and then ride down here. And then maybe we can use our um, our milestone skill to return back to Rivendell again. Oh man, cutting so many corners. But I mean, I know it's I, I know sometimes it's about the journey, not the destination. Uh, but it, in this case, it's it's all about the destination. All right. It's all about the destination. Uh, so we'll ride back to Thornhad and take a little trip down the road to the Ford of Bruinen. All right, we've almost made it to the Ford of Bruinen. We have our shiny stone that Glorfindel has given to us, and we need to hold it aloft in the midst of the Ford of Bruinen. Uh, I don't know what the point is. I don't know why we're doing this, but apparently it's going to tell us whether the Black Rider's been here or not, I guess. Right? Right here? Oh, look at... What is this? Oh, I can write down my impressions of the Ford of Bruinen. For bingo. All right, we'll do that real quick. Let's take some studious notes. Oh, yeah, look at this. Writing it all down. Taking it all in. Oh, fantastic. Good job, Al. <laughs> oh, man. He was writing furiously. And let's also hold the shiny stone aloft. It glows with a pale light. Great. We need to go all the way back to Glorfindel. <laughs> Gosh, crazy, so much running around. Okay, we'll ride back to Thornhead, and then we'll ride back to uh, Rivendell, and then we'll probably ride somewhere else too. I think that sounds just, just great, just great. All right, we've made it back to Rivendell, and there he is. Once again in our sights, Lord Glorfindel. We have your shiny stone. It glowed with a pale light. That is what I expected, and I am glad it was so, for it shall be our means of locating the Nazgul that remains hidden in the wilderness. Okay, it will allow us to follow the missing rider's trail. I do not often travel into the wild, though I will do so when the need is great. Um, I leave my barrel in your care for the time being and ask you to return with it to Eladan in Thornhad. Oh my goodness gracious. So we're going back to Thornhad once again. Mind my words, should we pick up this as well? Glorfindel's company? Oh, he wants us to talk to Kulang and Tinadir. My gosh, we're not going back there, Glorfindel. Come on, we're going back to Thornhat, okay? <laughs> My gosh. I cannot believe this. Okay, we'll ride back to Thornhead one last time, and then I think we'll probably call it a night, right? I th we've done enough running around for one episode. <laughs> My gosh. It's crazy. It's just crazy. But, um, I mean, it's all for a good cause, right? We're trying to find the Black Rider. Uh, and it's very important that we do so, otherwise he could be tailing the Fellowship, um, waiting for their next move, their next mistake, um, and then it would all be over. It would all be for naught. Frodo would be dead, Sam would be dead, Merry and Pippin would have, like, run away or something, Gandalf would just be really sad, I think, at that point. Uh, cause he could, he could, I think he could take one of the Black Riders. Uh, so maybe he would be like the sole survivor. Maybe Aragorn as well. I don't know. I mean, I say that. Actually, they have 
with they have uh, Legolas with them and Boromir, so maybe it wouldn't be such a bad deal either. Um, and of course Gimli as well, so maybe they wouldn't have anything to worry about actually. So maybe this whole this whole quest line is just completely pointless, and I don't need to be looking for the Black Rider because they have nothing to worry about because they're super tough, right? I mean that's why it's the Fellowship, right? They could handle almost anything, uh, except for the fact that they like totally fall what apart within the first book. Let's just ignore that fact, though, for the time being. Okay, we're riding back to Thornhead. We're going to talk to Eladen, and then we'll call it a night. All right, Eladen, we are here. We have the shiny stone from Glorfindel. Okay, we need to find deep chambers in Torogrond, Nurath, and Thingroth. And we also get a shimmering elf stone to invoke some inspiration. And if we do this right... We could get, like, a nice sword. Like, a nice, big, shiny sword to go with our daggers. No? Okay. We'll go ahead and accept this quest for now. And, uh, we'll leave, we'll leave Al alone for the time being. We'll let him take a little rest, hang out with the sons of Elrond, and, uh, these other people who aren't important at all. Except for this guy. Beringer Blacksteel. He's awesome. He's my friend. Uh, so until then, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great night. Cheers!